Today's topic is Wilms tumor. Wilms tumor is a type of rare childhood cancer that starts in the kidney. Wilms tumor, also known as nephroblastoma, is the most common form of kidney cancer in children and the fourth most common type of childhood cancer. Wilms tumor is prevalent in children ages 4 to 5 years and becomes much less common after the age of 5. Most Wilms tumor is unilateral, meaning they only affect one kidney. They are bilateral, found in both kidneys, in about 5 to 10% of children with the condition. Wilms tumor can metastasize to the lungs. It may also put the patient at risk of bleeding and peritoneal dissemination if the tumor is ruptured. Causes The exact cause of the condition is unknown. Researchers believe that certain genetic factors may play a role. Researchers believe that alteration or mutations of Wills tumor 1, WT1, or Wills tumor 2, WT2 gene plays a role. These genes are located on chromosome 11 and help in suppressing tumors. Changes in these genes account for a small percentage of the disease. Fraser syndrome, WAGR syndrome, and Denny's Dash syndrome are genetic syndromes that may increase a child risk for Wilms tumor. They are linked to mutations in the WT1 gene. Beckwith Wiedemann syndrome is also a genetic syndrome that may increase a child's risk for Wilms tumor but it is linked to mutations in WT2. Other genetic syndromes that prone as risk factors are Perlman syndrome, Soto syndrome, Bloom syndrome, trisomy 18, also called Edwards syndrome, and simpson gulabi bamel syndrome. It is also believed that fragments of tissues, nephrogenic rests in or around the kidney, which develops before birth, may become cancerous after birth. Many, but not all cases of the disease, develop from nephrogenic rests. Nephrogenic rests are precursors to Wilms tumor. Children with birth defects, such as aniridia and hammer hypertrophy, are more likely to have the disease. African American children are more likely to develop the disease than children of other races. A family history of the condition may also be a risk factor. Symptoms Symptoms may widely vary and some children don't show any obvious symptoms. If symptoms do exist, they may include abdominal pain, abdominal swelling, a painless abdominal mass that can be felt, fever, blood in the urine or discoloration of urine, loss of appetite, weakness and fatigue, nausea and vomiting, high blood pressure, constipation, unexplained weight loss. Diagnosis and treatment. Over the years, advancements in the diagnosis and treatment of the condition have greatly improved the outlook for children with the disease. With appropriate treatment, the outlook is very good. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will carry out a physical examination to look for possible signs of the condition. Blood and urine tests to detect Will's tumor indicate how well the kidneys are working as well as detect certain kidney problems. Imaging tests such as CT scan Ultrasound and MRI scans can also be used. Once the condition is diagnosed, the doctor will determine the extent of the cancer, either by carrying out a chest X-ray or chest CT scan and bone scan. The stages range from 1 to 5. Stage 1. The cancer is confined to the kidney and can be completely removed by surgery. Stage 2. Cancer has spread to the tissues and structures, such as nearby fats and blood vessels, beyond the affected kidney, but can still be completely removed by surgery. Stage 3. Cancer has spread beyond the kidney area to nearby lymph nodes and other structures within the abdomen and cannot be completely removed by surgery. Stage 4. Cancer is spread to other structures such as the lungs, brain, liver, or bone. Stage 5. The cancer is in both kidneys, bilateral. Treatment. Treatment options may include surgery to remove part of the affected kidney, partial nephrectomy to remove the affected kidney and surrounding tissues, radical nephrectomy, or to remove all or part of both kidneys. Chemotherapy that involves using medication injected intravenously or taken orally to kill the cancer cell. Radiation therapy that uses powerful energy beams such as x-rays 
to kill the cancer cells. Clinical trials, which are research studies that test out new treatment or procedures. According to the American Cancer Society, doctors recommend that children with a higher risk of the condition get an exam every three to four months until they reach eight years old. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.